The Execution of Nikola Sakharov. With Adriana Russell, James Sullivan, and Camille Graney. Section 6. Nicola Sacco was born on April 22, 1891 in Torre Maggio, Italy. When he was 16, Nicola migrated to the United States where he took up residence in Massachusetts. He began working in a shoe factory in Stoughton, Mass, and then started a family. He joined a group of 25 radicalized anarchists called the Circolo di Studi Sociali and became a supporter of Luigi Galliani and subscribed to his newspaper and supported it in many ways. He eventually met Bartolomeo Vanzetti in Boston. Together they fled to Mexico in the midst of World War I out of protests and to be able to escape the draft. There he took the name Nicola Mascomatelli, which he dropped after moving back to the United States. On April 15, 1920, there was a robbery of the Slater Morrill Shoe Company in Braintree, Massachusetts. Two men, Frederick Paramenter and Alessandro Berardelli, were murdered following the robbery of $15,776. Sacco and Vanzetti were arrested on May 5, 1920, following eyewitness accounts saying that the robbers looked Italian. Both men were carrying guns when they were arrested, and this became the biggest evidence against them when their trials began on May 21, 1921. It was argued that the two men were stealing money to support and fund their anarchist campaign. They were discriminated against because they were Italian immigrants and there was a language barrier. It is argued that they were judged based on their radical anarchist beliefs rather than their crime. On July 14, 1921, after seven weeks, both men were found guilty and were eventually executed by the electric chair on August 23, 1927. Following the trial, years in prison, and their execution, people around the world protested. They are martyrs for the anarchist movement, and on August 23, 1997, the then governor of Massachusetts granted both men pardon of any wrongdoing and wished that they may be remembered as innocents. The video was made using citations from the following sources.